SEC on CBS announced their initial college football schedule, uh, TV schedule for the upcoming 2019 season. And it's a little different. The last couple of years, they have immediately started in. They have had SEC games on the first and the second week. This year, they're going back old school. They are not broadcasting a game until September 14th. And their first game will be Alabama at South Carolina. Uh, it's in Columbia, obviously. Going to be, I mean, it, look, South Carolina, there are some Saturdays in September that are hotter than Hades. I'm telling you, it is ridiculous out there. It can get up to 100 degrees on that field. So we'll see what it's like that day. It, it leads to some crazy football games in Columbia. So uh, I am curious about the Alabama-South Carolina game. September 21st, you have your SEC on CBS doubleheader, and that is your 2.30 p.m. Central Time kick and your night game. CBS gets one night game a year. This year it's the 7 p.m. game in week three, and that will likely be Georgia and Notre Dame. That's a pretty good matchup. I think it's going to do well for ratings. Both teams have a fairly easy slate early. This should be good for uh, for CBS. Uh, this is shifting away from them doing the Alabama-LSU game every year in no- the first weekend in November at night. So, yeah, it changes things up. It shows that Georgia has somewhat become... Uh, marquee television, and that's definitely a move in the right direction for Kirby Smart's bunch. But uh, but after that, the next uh, doubleheader is November 16th, and on that day, I mean, November 16th, we've got, let's see, Georgia-Auburn, LSU-Ole Miss, Alabama-Mississippi State, Florida-Missouri, South Carolina-Texas A&M, Kentucky-Vanderbilt. Not a lot of options. You're probably going to have Georgia and Auburn as your 2.30 game, but your 11 a.m., I guess Alabama, Mississippi State, maybe. Uh, if LSU and Ole Miss are both good, maybe you've got that rivalry game. Uh, depending on what Missouri and Florida do, that could be interesting. South Carolina at Texas A&M, that could be interesting. There's a lot of different things that could uh, that could go on there. So along with that, obviously CBS has already announced Georgia, Florida. Uh, that is November second. That's a two thirty game. Uh, that is the uh, uh, this year. That'll be the the week before the Alabama LSU game. So. The schedule's a little a little crazy this year with everybody having double buys and whatnot, uh, which I think is why CBS felt like, okay, well, we can we not have to worry about the first two weeks. The first week of the season, obviously, a lot of neutral sites, things like that. But, uh, I mean, you got Georgia at Vanderbilt. You got Ole Miss at Memphis, Alabama, Duke, neutral site, South Carolina, North Carolina, uh Georgia State, Tennessee, but then you've already got Auburn, Oregon on ABC and Missouri, Wyoming on CBS Sports Network. So the SEC didn't have the TV rights to a lot of these for week one. Week two, uh, there is nothing. There is nothing in week two. A&M and Clemson is on ABC already. LSU and Texas is on ABC already. So, But the SEC didn't own the rights to those, so CBS couldn't broadcast it. That's the deal. So other than that, you got New Mexico State, Alabama, Tulane, Auburn, UT Martin, Florida, Murray State, Georgia, Eastern Michigan, Kentucky. I mean, it's just whatever, right? Arkansas, Ole Miss is the the only interconference game. Uh, you got Vandy going to Purdue. You got BYU going to Tennessee. Other than that, uh, West Virginia, Missouri, maybe, eh? You know, without Dana Holgerson though, without uh, without West Virginia having a ton of players coming back, like eh, who who knows what to do of it? So. Uh, I would imagine we will have another good run on CBS this year. I think the SEC broadcast, it is it is always the highest rated uh, television package in college football. So we'll, we'll see what it does again this year. Uh, there's obviously a lot of fun games, A&M at Georgia, uh, a ton of different stuff. So I am pumped to see that. Uh, we'll jump off of that topic. Let's jump into...